Hey y'all, it's Christelle. Welcome back. Back down here in the downstairs. Let's do another round of a shelf spotlight. An author highlight. <laughs> My slow moving library tour. <laughs> um, and today's is really the day. It's the big day. I'm gonna go through my Stephen King books because I have a full shelf down here, double stacked of King books, and it's it's funny because I've been reading King since I was a kid, but like a teenager. But um, I pick book, book I've got books I've picked up from all over the place from Stephen King. Some I bought new, some I were from thrift stores. Um, I've had some since I was a teenager, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to the place with my King collection. It isn't in no way, like, it's very hodgepodge. <laughs> but I like it. It's fine. All right, let's dive right in. It's Stephen King, right? We know about Stephen King. So we're going to just start off with this one. Drawing of the Three, Book Two of the Dark Tower. I had this one pulled off to the side because I'm diving into this one. But uh, yeah, Book Two, kind of a strange looking cover. I don't know. Excited though. I've got Later, of course. I read this pretty recently. Liked it pretty good. Part of these, what is it, the Hard Case Crime series. I've only read that one so far, but that's okay. I've got Wind Through the Keyhole. This is a Dark Tower book. I don't know where it fits right off the top of my head, but <laughs> that's okay. I did have a nice hard cover of this one though. I I think this might be a thrift store purchase. I think. I had a friend give me a few Dark Tower books too, and I know I can't remember which ones she gave me and which ones I already had. <laughs> I have Insomnia. This is one of his chunky ones. Um, yeah. I like that cover though. The hand over the eye. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Of course, I have Billy Summers. Bought this one new. Uh, I haven't read it. I haven't read it yet. <laughs> I like this cover too. What's the book look like? Just a red book. All right. Yeah. Of course, I have The Shining. This is my definitely a top top five Stephen King. My favorite horror book. By far. It's so scary to me. I read this one a couple of years ago. Oh boy. The Shining. It's scary to me. Now this is a uh, thrift store find. I know. I found it something last year sometime. His Blockade Billy. And um, this is about baseball. But <laughs> I um Oh, yeah, I just bought it because it's Stephen King, and I don't know much about baseball, but, you know, all the collection. I have this copy of It. I had to repurchase It. I, I've, I feel like I've got, you know, a box of books somewhere, you know. I had books in storage for a while, and my mom was holding on to a lot of my old, old books for a, long, a while, and I feel like there's a box of books somewhere that they have just, you know, they were just somewhere stuck and I've not found them. Because I had a really old copy of It, the old paperback where the green claws that come out of the sewer grate. I had that copy. That was the one I read from a long time ago. Uh, but I repurchased it, so, because I wanted to reread it. I reread it. 2020, I reread it, I think. And uh, yeah, that's a top five, too, for King. And it's actually the same for this Misery. I had my old copy of Misery. Lost to time. I don't know. And I've actually... I think I have two copies of Misery. Because <laughs> this one I picked up. Because I wanted, you know, another copy for my shelf. I do try, I'm trying to own all of his books. So I needed a copy, so I picked that one up. And I think I've got... I found one an older paperback out of the first store, I think. I have to... It'll come up at some point. I have The Dance Macabre. This is a non-fiction, I think, about horror movies or something. I don't know. I've never um, read it before. <laughs> so, Central Tour with a Master of Horror as your guide. Inform this is very informative. 
Has anyone read this? I'd like to know. Because I'm not sure. And after I read The Shining a couple of years ago, I dug right into Dr. Sleep, and I love this one too. Yeah, I thought that, I thought this was a really good follow up to The Shining. I, uh, you know, Rose. She, she's a good villain. <laughs> Let's see, I do have the Colorado kid. Um, another one of the you know hard case hard case crimes. I've read that one though. I ain't read it though. Another stack. Number one, the gunslinger. Just read this one recently. I liked it. Confused about what's going on, but um. I'm plugging ahead in the series. I think I, I think this is the movie tie-in. I didn't, I didn't watch the movie either, but this one was a re uh, recent read. Lisey's story, <gasps> and I loved it. I really liked Lisey's story a lot. I, I know some people, I don't think like this one, but oh, I liked this one, and I think this is possibly the uh, Apple TV sh series tie-in cover. <laughs> Let's see. Now, some of these I know are, um, of course, it's Bachman books, so, you know, thinner. Um, I remember this movie. I remember this movie. Um, slightly cheesy, but it's pretty good. I know, I've never read it. That's why I never read it. And the same with uh, Langoliers. I remember that movie, too. Do you remember that one? Was it a series? Was it a series or a movie? Like a mini series? I can't remember now. Maybe it was a mini series? I don't know. I remember this. This is kind of an odd story about time and things. Uh, I don't know. I haven't read Langoliers, but that's a really awesome cover, actually. I think this plain wing and then this just this really moody background. I like it. And another kind of more recent read for me was Gerald's Game. I read that last year. I liked it pretty good, and then uh, I watched the movie, the Netflix show, the Netflix movie. And I thought they did a pretty good job with the adaptation too, so I like Gerald's Game. Yeah, like a top fave book. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, the Tommyknockers, this is another movie I remember watching, but I don't think I've ever read Tommyknockers. If I did, I don't remember reading it. Um, I, know the, I think this is about aliens, right? <laughs> <laughs> Another pretty spooky cover. Yeah, this is a newer book. A newer iteration of the cover. But, um, the Outsider, of course. I like this cover, too. I haven't read this one yet. Because I'm... You know, I heard that you need to read the Mr. Mercedes books first and then read the Outsider. So I've only read the first book of the Mr. Mercedes books. So... <laughs> So I'm holding off. Pet Cemetery again. I had an old version of Pet Cemetery. It's in that mystery box that's lost to time somewhere. <laughs> uh, but I repurchased it again because I wanted to reread it. I reread this one last either last year or year before. Pet Cemetery is definitely top five. Definitely top five king. Um, I love Pet Cemetery and I love this cover. Ugh. With that kitty cat. And then Joyland, the other of the hard case crimes. I think this one's out of Carnival, right? Yeah. Who who dares enter the fun house of fear? Dun, dun, dun. Ooh. I'm going to sort of precar I'm sure precariously stack. <laughs> um, I've got this one down here, even though it's King and Richard Chismar, but Wendy's button box. I haven't read it. And now like the third one has come out, Wendy's something or others. Uh, too many books, not enough time, my friends. I've got Bag of Bones. This one I really want to read for some reason. I don't know. It just sounds, this one sounds right up my alley. I think another pretty great cover on that one. I like this cover of Christine. 
And I don't think I read Christine. Um, oh yeah, I don't think so. Definitely have seen the movie. And the movie's fun from what I remember too. It's been a long time since I've seen the movie though. Um, yeah, I'd like to read that. I want to read. I'd like to read all of these at some point, of course, but you know. Oh yeah, so here's my other copy of The Gunslinger. I've got two copies. Because I picked up that one copy and then I found this out at a thrift store. It's an old, uh, like it's a Signet. Yeah, an old Signet. The Dark Tower. I like this one. I like that one better, I think. Probably should get rid of that other one. This is my old beat up copy of The Stand that I've had forever. The Stand is definitely top five also. I always say it's my favorite Stephen King and it's probably true. <laughs> I just, I just, I love The Stand and all of its long, <laughs> very recent read. My most recent King read was read was Rose Matter. It was pretty good, you know. Didn't hate it, didn't love it. It was very much middle, but it was, it was good. I um, had some good characters. Which for me, King always, you know, he just does good characters, right? All right, I've got Hearts in Atlantis. So it's just an old paperback copy of this one. This is this short stories or not? I can't remember. Okay, no, it's not short stories. I don't know. It's a big one. Ooh, why are you always so long? I don't know. So talking about Mr. Mercedes, I got Mr. Mercedes. This was the book book one of the Bill Hodges series. Um, read this one last year. It was fine. It was a nice kind of you know, crime, uh, police thriller kind of book. It was fun. Bill Hodges, sort of that grumpy old man kind of character. So here's that cool copy of Misery that I found at a thrift store. Right? Yeah, I guess this is an old uh, signet. Look, there's like Paul in his wheelchair and <gasps> Amy with her axe cool it's cool another old signet of fire starter I read this one last year and ugh, I didn't particularly care for a fire starter but no, that's that's just me got old copy of uh, another signet copy of the dead zone the dead zone I like that's one I really like um, for, to me um, Johnny, the character in here, the main character, is probably one of the saddest characters ever. <laughs> Just the sort of the epitome of a tragic character, I think. Is dear Johnny stacking them? Don't, don't fall. All right, more paperbacks. The girl who loved Tom Gordon. Now this one I'm interested in reading because it takes place on the Appalachian Trail. Um, so that just sounds pretty cool. This is, it's not crazy long. So <laughs> I've got book three for the Dark Tower of the Wastelands. Very interesting character, character, very interesting cover. I don't know. Look at this fox. I've got an old copy of Night Shift. Another signet this is definitely a thrift store pickup. Now this I know is um, short stories. I need to read some of his short stories. I, I don't I've not read any of his short story collections, I don't think. I used to have and see that's in my box of mystery box. I had a I had a a um hardback copy of Nightmares and Dreamscapes. I do remember owning that book, but Lost to time again, of course. I've got an old copy of Song of Susanna. This was definitely a thrift store pickup too. This is a part of the Dark Tower. So I'll be getting to it at some point as I'm making my way to the tower. Here's the next two of the Bill Hadges, the Bill's Hadges uh, trilogy. And Finders Keepers and End of Watch. I think it goes this way. You know, I'm doing the uh, Stephen King read-along with uh, that Kelly Hooked on Books is spinning a wheel for us, and we it spins us a Stephen King book every month, and we discuss it over on Brad Potter's Discord. 
Um, so I'll link I'll link uh, I'll link Brad's channel below if you want to get into his um, Discord and join us. It's fun, especially if you like me and kind of ultimately would like to read off Stephen King's books. <laughs> All right, apt people. I think is in a novella collection also, but they have this really cool kind of print of it, like on its own, that I really liked. Kind of reminds me of the Misery cover where Annie Wilkes is in the shadow. Apt People, I think, is a really great story, too. Um, I liked this. I read this pretty recently, and it's another uh, movie with Brad Renfro. Rest in peace. But the movie, I remember, I remember, I remember liking pretty good too. The Dark Half. I do have an old paper uh, hardback of The Dark Half. That is a thrift store find, and I like The Dark Half. I um, I think Dark Half is a little underrated actually. I don't. I always love this. I always love that page. I think it's a bit underrated because. Well, I don't know why, but <laughs> but um, but I like this book, you know, about an author and his sort of alter ego and the sparrows. Oh, it's creepy. It's a creepy book. Okay, I'm gonna to start another pile. I can see a toppling one that's catapulted to top five fave. Maybe is revival. I loved this book. I really loved this book, and man, I, the ending of this book is one of the most sort of grim endings maybe I've ever read. I don't know. It's it's pretty dark. It goes to some places. All right, Urgh. I'll tell you, it's double stacked over here. Of course, I got this one that you wrote with Owen is Sleeping Beauties. I've never read it, but I really, again, such a pretty cover. I think this one kind of gets hot and cold, you know, kind of feelings towards it. And it's really long, too. Why is all this stuff so long? I know, but the, the premise of this one sounds really interesting. So just for that alone, I want to give it a go. Um, one moment, please. I have books falling. I have books falling. <laughs> Whoa! All right. So this is one I know that my I tell you my friend gave me a few uh, dark tower books that she was kind of getting rid of because she was getting a whole brand new set. I have this old beautiful copy of Wizarding Glass. This uh, paperback copy, and it's got um, like really pretty. Uh, ah, I keep going by one. Color plates in. Very cool. Very cool. So this is Dark Tower. What is this? Four? <laughs> I'll get there someday. I'll get there sooner or later. She gave me this one too. Ooh. This gorgeous hardback of the Dark Tower. Book seven. Look at this. Cool, huh? Cool, huh? And some more uh, cool color plates in. This one is huge. This book is so long. <laughs> I'll get there someday. All right. Whoa. Oh, she gave me this one too. Wolves of Kala. This is number five. Gorgeous hardback. With an awesome cover. Oh my gosh, that cover is great. Ooh, another. Ugh. Oh my. Some more pretty color plates. Very cool. I'm excited about this. I got Under the Dome. I actually remember starting this one at one point. Um, But I guess I didn't get very far. I definitely didn't finish it. <laughs> and I'd actually started watching that series when it came out. That's been maybe 10 plus years ago now. 
I didn't finish that either. <laughs> Nothing against the show, I just didn't finish it. Because that's how I am. I've got Duma Key. This one I'm pretty sure was a thrift store find. Really nice uh, hardback for Duma Key. I gotta love this cover. And I like the sound of this one too. Um, this is one I really want to read soonish. I'm hoping it, you know, comes up on our uh, our spin soon. And Needful Things. This is another thrift store find too. Nice hardcover of Needful Things. I like Needful Things. I know some people probably just think it's it's ridiculous. First of all, it is a silly kind of book, <laughs> honestly. Um, but I just love it. I love just going into details with these characters doing all this crazy wild stuff. I love it. <laughs> it's, it's funny to me. I got, this was definitely a thrift store find too. A hard copy of Dolores Claiborne. I've not read this one. I really want to. Uh, oh, I've got two of these. Then I have a paperback of this. So maybe my friend gave me this one. This hard cover of it. I've went through the keyhole. I can probably can get rid of that old paper bag. Yep, so looks like I've got two of those. <laughs> this was a thrift store find too, I remember. Uh, this of uh, Cell. Not read this one yet either. Pretty gnarly cover though. I got another play with a shadow. I think this would be kind of typical. Oh, some of King's. Uh, covers. Just a few more. Everything's eventual. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was a thrift store find too. This is another of his uh, story collections. Um, so yeah. Interesting, you know, a little drop of blood in the water glass. I do have the regulators. And I had desperation at some point too. I think that's in that mystery box. I remember actually getting that a long time ago. I love this gorgeous Mark Ryden uh, artwork. A little bit. Two more. Is this it? I guess this is it. Two more. Newer, newer uh, books. The Institute. I haven't read yet. And if it bleeds, ain't read it yet. <laughs> that's another great cover. So that's it. Phew. I have quite a lot of King books. I just don't even have them all, right? But you know, one day I'm working for it. I'm working towards it. So let me know. Are you a collector of King? Do you care if they're like mix my match to the mine? I don't really care. <laughs> and that'll do it for me today. Thanks for hanging in there with me through all these King books. Let me know your favorite King. Let me know. Or do you hate him? It's fine. <laughs> and um, as always, thanks so much for spending some time with me. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, friends. <laughs>